This is the Cornet ED88T EMF meter. In this short video, I'm going to give you a brief description of the meter. I'm going to explain the categories of EMFs it can measure. I'm going to explain the different sources of EMFs it can measure. I'm going to talk about the three things that differentiate this Cornet meter from other Cornet meters and from most other EMF meters on the market. I'm going to show you a simplified way of using this meter. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons so you can decide if this is the right EMF meter for you. So the first thing you'll probably notice is its size. Something like 5 inches by 2 inches. This is a dinky little meter. And there is no external antenna because a lot of the meters in this price bracket have got protruding external antennas. This one doesn't, so that, that's a definite plus. The second thing is, it's very lightweight. You probably can't see that, but uh, it is very light. Put it in your pocket, carry it around, you don't know you've got it. The third thing you'll notice is, there are three buttons, okay? Just that's all there is, three buttons. Oh, you can see around three buttons. Power switch it on and off, mode button to go between the different EMF functions, and the hold button. I'm going to explain exactly what these buttons do in a little moment. But what I'm saying is, you're probably thinking, well, uh, there's not a lot to this meter. Don't be deceived. This meter packs a big punch. It's got broad functionality, and that's what I'm going to go into in a moment. So this meter can measure radio frequency, radiation, as to say microwaves, and the default, default setting is milliwatts per square meter. It can measure magnetic fields in microtesla and milligauss, and it can measure electric fields in volts per meter. Now these are different categories and frequencies of electromagnetic fields on the EMF spectrum. And these different categories are measured by using the mode button here. So when you switch the meter on, it comes on on radio frequency radiation setting, and then you press it and it goes on to magnetic fields, press it again, magnetic fields, press it again, electric fields. And it tells you on the LCD dis, uh, display screen here exactly what you're measuring. You won't be able to see that because it's a bit small but I'm going to do a close-up of this so you can see exactly how it works. Just one word of warning. All the Cornet meters look pretty much identical. Um, so they've all got this fascia and they've all got pretty much this written on it. Um, the way to know what meter you have bought is by looking on the display here and that tells you. So what I'm saying is be careful when you're looking online and comparing different uh, vendors different prices because it doesn't always say what the model is. There's quite a few places that are selling and they're not saying what it is and that would explain why certain vendors are selling Cornet, cheapers, uh, Cornet meters cheaper than other vendors. So in radio frequency radiation mode, you can measure emissions from devices like cell phones, cell towers, cordless phones, from devices like uh, FM radio transmitters, depending on the frequency, from Wi-Fi, from Bluetooth, from smart meters, from microwave ovens, etc. And then if you change the setting using the mode button here to go on to electric or magnetic fields, then you can measure emissions from the electrical wiring in your home, for instance, from the electric, electric fuse box stroke uh, consumer unit, from appliances all around your home, for instance, in your kitchen, from your electric hob, electric oven, dishwasher, 
microwave oven because microwave ovens emit electromagnetic fields on um, different frequencies and here we're talking about magnetic fields uh, particularly and also pretty much all around your home um, in your bedroom for instance um, emissions from clock radio that's a known worst offender uh, in your uh, bathroom from your hairdryer um, and then outside the home you can measure emissions from power lines from electrical transformers and from um, pretty much anything with uh, an electrical motor. So I'm going to talk about some of the finer points of using this meter. Some of this information might go over your head. If it does, don't worry, just bear with me, okay? So uh, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the fact that this is a tri-mode meter. And what I mean there is that it's me it can measure RF radiation, magnetic fields, but it can also measure electric fields. And this is not unique, but it's the first time that Cornet have brought out a meter which can do this. The Trifield 100XE can also do this, but the RF radiation function on the Trifield meter is so uh, insensitive that it really has limited use as, a, as an RF meter. The second thing I want to uh, draw your attention to is that this meter has a frequency display function also. Um, and what that means is not only is it giving you, um, telling you that there is um, the strength of the signal between um, 100 megahertz and 8 gigahertz, that's to say the, the, the frequency range of the meter, but also it's actually telling you for part of that spectrum uh, is telling you, up to, that's up to 2.7 uh, gigahertz, it's telling you where the signal is, at what frequency the signal is. So it's, it's acting like a frequency analyzer, which really for a meter in this price bracket is, is pretty exceptional. And the third uh, feature I want to draw your attention to is that it's improved Sampling again. This might sound like a detail, uh, but sample the sampling rate is, is really important. This meter is uh, sampling at ten thousand times a second, and there are a few meters on the market, to my knowledge, which are um, sampling at this rate. And what that means, in a nutshell, is is it's got very good sensitivity, which is hugely important. Press power to switch the meter on. The default setting is milliwatts per square meter. The big digits on the screen tell you the current reading in milliwatts per square meter. Where it says max, this is the maximum reading since the meter has been switched on. The four zeros at the top of the screen are the frequency display function which shows the frequency of the radio frequency signal in the range 100 megahertz to 2.7 gigahertz. The graph chart on the right shows the previous 30 signals which have been measured and the LED on the far right which is showing green here, gives a safety indication by color code of how strong the signal is as outlined in the user manual. Press on hold, then press on mode to activate the sound, and then mode again to activate the light. To change the EMF mode, press on hold, and then mode and the LCD shows LF600 mode which corresponds to readings in the 1 milligauss to 600 milligauss range it measures magnetic fields in micro tesla for the large digits and milligauss the small digits 
press mode again and this display changes to LF30 mode which also measures magnetic fields it allows you to measure lower readings in the 0.1 milligauss to 10 milligauss range with more precision press the mode button again and watch the display change to E field which gives an electric field reading in volts per meters up to 1000 volts per meter to access the system setup while pushing down the hold button press on the mode button this takes you into the system menu use the mode to move down the menu items and press on mode to activate or deactivate the function in question to leave system setup use the mode button to go to item 1 and the and then press hold to leave system setup press power to switch off so the big advantage without doubt with this meter is the fact that it's a tri mode meter and it's a bona fide tri mode meter so it's um, say it can measure RF radiation magnetic fields and electric fields and that makes it uh, it's a bit like having three meters in one the second point is its sensitivity so on radio frequency radiation mode it's got this very high sample rate which gives you good sensitivity and also there's good sensitivity on uh, the magnetic field setting because it's got two levels two levels of uh, sensitivity and the third point is it's got the sound function that's always good to have because um, what I always find with these uh, meters with the sound function is you are able to detect signals with the sound function hear things which you are not actually seeing on the display so it gives you um, additional information and fourth thing uh, that I like about this meter is that it's got the histogram on it and this is like a bar chart which gives you the last 30 readings and that is particularly useful for measuring smart meter radiation which comes in short bursts and so you might miss those short bursts ordinarily and with this meter you can see them uh, very easily on the histogram and the fifth thing um, I like is its price it's a really good um, meter for the price it's good value for money and um, in terms of um, what I don't like so much um, I'm not a big fan of the three buttons because this meter as you've seen it is capable of a lot and I think it is a little bit confusing just having three buttons it does take some uh, working out there is a bit of a learning curve initially uh, to use this uh, which is one of the reasons I did this video so you could uh, understand more easily uh, because the user manual is not particularly explicit on this um, and what I suggest you do a little tip here is that you with a permanent uh, marker pen you write M uh, next to, for mode next to the middle button here and H for hold uh, next to the button uh, the bottom button here um, and lastly the thing personally I'm not uh, so keen on here is the fact that is the, is the measurement units that this meter is using um, so in radio frequency radiation mode the default function is milliwatts per square meter my personal preference is for volts per meter um, and again in on the magnetic field setting um, it's expressing primarily in micro tesla my personal preference is in milligauss though to be fair it does give the milligauss reading underneath um, in smaller letters uh, but really that's by the by because there's no international um, consensus on this so there you have it that's my view of the um, ED the Cornet ED 88T uh, EMF meter my name is Lloyd from electricsense.com thanks for your time